Today we're treating a patient in his early 20s. I first met him back in August of last year, and at that time he had presented to me with a very long history of a massive wart to the bottom of the heel. He had tried a variety of over-the-counter treatments which were predictably unsuccessful. We did about 10 canthrone treatments. So canthrone is a blistering agent that's derived from a beetle and there was some improvement. The patient was having quite a bit of discomfort after each treatment, which is typically the case for canthrone. One of the side effects with canthrone is that the center of the work can be actually miraculously healed, but there's something called a halo effect. So the periphery of where the wart used to be is now all warty tissue. It's a tricky area to entertain the idea of a surgical excision because you need to be off your weight until the wound heals up. It does present high risk for scar, infection, and other healing issues. And the patient was young, active, and just wanted to be able to continue to play soccer. So it just was not a reasonable option for him. So Swift was offered to the patient. Swift is a microwave generator that rapidly increases heat in the tissue, not to the point of a burn. The heat generated is approximately 50 to 60 degrees Celsius over the time frame of two seconds only. Five applications are required in one treatment. If the wart is larger, those five applications need to be repeated on the various aspects of the wart. So SWIFT is very different than other traditional treatments for treating a plantar wart. The way it works is that it induces an immunologic response so your body recognizes the word virus called human papillomavirus. As such, the body attacks the virus in the warty tissue that's developed because of its infection over the time frame of around three separate treatments. The interesting thing is that because it is an immunologic response, the recurrence rate is less than 1%. So let's take a look and see how this treatment went for the patient. So Mohammed, how many treatments have we done so far? At least 10, maybe 15. Yeah, so we've been using Canthro and some blistering agent. It usually works pretty well, but this work was massive. It was on the bottom of the heel. So we've done about 10 treatments since August. Typically we'll do it every two weeks. Canthro can be not painful at the time of treatment, but how does it feel after treatment? It stings for two days after treatment. Okay, so why don't we take a look at the work. Again, you're gonna feel something here, okay? Just yeah. let you know. Uh, okay, so here, can you see my arm? Yes. Yeah. Um, comes the first one, okay? So it's just gonna be two seconds. Not so bad, right? No, it's not. Okay, you're probably gonna feel a little more here. Here it comes. Feel that? Yeah, that one. Okay, here comes number three. It's only two seconds. Okay, we've got two more at this side. Just one more over there, okay? Tell, how's it feeling? It hurts, it hurts. One more here. Okay, that's that spot. We're gonna do three total sites, okay? Uh, you ready? Not really. Okay, we'll do it then. <laughs> All right, here comes the first one. Not so bad, right? No. Okay. So that's two, here comes a third. Okay, 
What does it feel like? It's like the needle goes straight through your feet. Here comes number three. Number four. Okay, one more on that side, okay? All right. We'll give you a two second break. How does it feel compared to what Canthrone feels like afterwards? I think it's a lot worse at the second, but afterwards it feels like nothing. Yeah, so think it hurts when I do this, but after the two seconds, the pain, what happens? It goes away immediately, goes away. right? Yeah, yeah. So it's basically two minutes of torture, but it goes away like yeah. instantaneously. Yeah, it's quick. Okay, so there's two more sites to treat, and that's it for today, okay? And then we'll get you back in a month. Um, okay, ready? This one won't hurt. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. It's number two. We'll finally get rid of this thing, okay? Right, number so. three. It's number four. Okay, one more here, okay? Here comes. Okay, let's give you a break. So it's not actually burning you. It was like no sizzle. Unlike with the laser, the laser basically produces pretty high temperatures to, to, to kill the tissue. Mm. This is like half a boiling temperature of water. It just, it feels, you, you're feeling it because it's going up by like 60 degrees Celsius within like two seconds. Mm. Okay, so there's just one more site to treat, and then we're done. And we'll get you back in a month, okay? Yep. Okay, let's do it. So the thing with the laser, you always get a little nervous because of that sizzle. The smoke does emit virus into the air, which you could potentially be breathing. That's number two. Well, actually, this is a... Number three. Okay, here comes number four. Okay, this is the last one total, okay? No more after this. Well, until I see you next month. I hope you come back. I hope not. Okay, that's it.